I made the research paradigm of a qualitative study in less than 5 minutes. If you want to learn how, then watch this video until the end. Hey there loves! Welcome back to my channel. If you've just happened to this video, welcome! This is Jean Castillo de Jesus, a public school teacher handling English and research subjects, and I will be your online research bestie. If you are interested to learn more about these topics, be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so you wouldn't miss any of my uploads. Previously, I discussed the paradigm model, which is called the P model. So in this video, I am gonna tackle the last research paradigm dubbed as POM or proposed original model. This type of research paradigm is used in qualitative research. Also, the POM is used in mixed method researches in which the first phase utilizes qualitative approaches, such as the mixed method concurrent triangulation. As the name implies, the researcher himself or herself or the researchers themselves make their own research paradigm by utilizing or using graphic organizers, which will explain or delineate the research process or methodology. So without much ado, let us discuss the POM or proposed original model utilized in this research title. Venturing into the realm of work, experiences of student immersionists in Allen National High School by Arcelia Buensalida and Vacunawa 2024. As you can observe in the figure, it shows a ladder which depicts the hierarchical process followed or observed in the study. In the first level, the researchers wrote work immersion experiences. In the second level, the researchers indicated the skills and competence acquired by the work immersionists or student immersionists. Moving forward to the third level, it reflects the level of effectiveness of work immersion program. And unto the fourth level, the employability skills of the student immersionists. In the first two levels, the data require qualitative approaches. So in this research, the proponents employed a series of focus group discussions and in-depth interview or semi-structured interview to gather the data. Meanwhile, in the third and fourth levels, the quantitative data were gathered through the dispersal of survey questionnaires which were accomplished by the respondents of the study. Ultimately, the last level is Enhanced Work Immersion Program. Since one of the objectives of the researchers is to shed light on the needs of the work immersionists or student immersionists, they intend to propose strategies that will help improve or enhance the work immersion program in their chosen research site. So now let's have a recap. This hierarchical graphic organizer showcases different levels. In the first level, the work immersion experiences. In the second one, skills and competencies acquired by the student immersionists. Third, the level of effectiveness of the work immersion program. Fourth, the employability skills of the student immersionists. And lastly, the enhanced work immersion program. Once again, I would like to emphasize that the hierarchical graphic organizer is not the sole option for the proposed original model or POM. As the name implies, you can make your own paradigm and utilize the graphic organizer of your choice as long as it signifies or reflects 
the research methodology or the research process. That's it for today's lesson. I hope you learned a thing or two from me. If I was able to help you craft your own research paradigm, which is the proposed original model, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the notification bell to keep you posted of my uploads. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, and please do love research. Bye!